The title of my book is called Tyrell and it's by Cope Booth. Cope Booth was born and raised in New York City. She went to a public school and when she wasn't in dancing school or taking piano lessons, she spent most of her free time playing double dutch with her friends and riding her bike up and down the block. When she graduated in 1996, she began working with teens and families in crises. A lot of the teens she worked with were homeless, involved in gangs, or addicted to drugs. It was a tough job for her, but she, al she was always impressed by the teen's survival skills, and this inspired her to write the book Tyrell. Tyrell is a 15-year-old boy who has what you wouldn't call an easy life. His dad is in prison for throwing illegal parties to get money to help pay for the rent and put food on the table for his family. His mother lacks parenting skills to provide or take care of her two sons. Tyrell seems to be the only one looking out for his, for his seven-year-old little brother, Troy. Their family is in such a bad position that they can't make the payments for their home and the projects. Now the emergency assistance unit is providing their home, which is a roach-infested Bennett Motel in New York City. It's a place where Tyrell nor anyone else wants to live. The smell is horrid, and the author explains that the motel looks like a bombed-out building. Tyrell has to find some, some way to help his family get out of the situation that they are in. My favorite thing about the book is that Tyrell never give, gives up no matter the situation or the obstacles that is put in front of him. I sometimes get blamed for, the stu for stuff that my younger siblings did, like Tyrell. However, I've never experienced anything that Tyrell and his family has been through, and I'm thankful for that. I can understand Tyrell's feelings when he believed he was he thought he was thought of as nothing and but things like that happens to a lot of people but he was also he was also faced with a lot of things that people don't go through and he was very unfortunate i would recommend this book to anyone who's ever had feelings of self-doubt or if you've ever felt like giving up on something i would rate this book 8 out of 10